Welcome back to Skills USA News. On today's news podcast, we bring you news about the Missouri disaster tornado, Dawn in Terms of Diamond, and more to come. Stay tuned. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Skills USA News. I'm your anchor, Matthew Britton. And I'm Lila Garcia. We're live here at New Mexico's Skills USA conference. In other news, a devastating tornado has hit Missouri, injuring and even killing several people. Though the number of casualties is still unknown, the extent of the damage is heartbreaking, with several people having their homes entirely destroyed. Luckily, members of the community have started volunteering to help rebuild and recover what was lost. Welcome to your Skills USA News. I'm your anchor, Richard Ray Aguilar. And I'm Jadzia Murthy. We're coming to you live from Studio 519 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm so excited to be here, Richard Ray. What about you? Me too. It's truly a one-of-a-kind experience. Let's get right into it. The invasion of Ukraine is causing bordering nations to rethink their security as Finland's long-standing non-alignment with other countries comes to an end. NATO celebrating its 74th anniversary welcomes Russia's neighboring country Finland as its 31st member. This new alliance is giving Finland citizens a sense of peace. UNM has been facing many increases in tuition fees with the need of $20 million in new funding. UNM is wanting to increase their tuition by 3% to improve the safety, mental health, and also wanting to pay their employees more. With this increasing, it does not affect those with full scholarships. Administration says 73% could possibly be out of order to produce a balanced budget. Hello, I'm Aubriana Garcia. And I'm Santiago Perez. Many families said that these tragedies will stick with them forever. We are now holding these families in our prayers. I'm Annalisa Lowther. And I'm Kaden Sayo, live from Studio 519 in downtown Albuquerque. Tobias Sanchez painted a brand new mural for the Isotope Stadium just right before, just in time for the home opener. It took much effort, but with the help and support of both family and friends, Tobias was able to bring his vision to life. His mural is located at the craft corner near the right field foul pole. Hello, I am Daniel Wall. And I am Caleb McDerris. Welcome to Skills USA News. Last November, it was exposed at Rio Rancho, Rancho Event Center received $240,000 for the Duke City Gladiators. Those $240,000 coming from Albuquerque taxpayer money, leaving the city and ending up in Rio Rancho for the privately owned turf field. Albuquerque City's Inspector General stating that the taxpayer's money is being misused by not only surpassing the state-mandated recreational city budget, but is only $160,000. That surpasses the budget by nearly $100,000. That's crazy. 